good way to, to start the home campaign. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the fans were, were amazing today and they, they helped us get get the win, I guess. Like We came out the second half. I thought we had a good 15 minute spell where we took our chances and put us three goals ahead and yeah, we just took it well from there. Yeah, to, to, get, to get that advantage, you know, scoring three goals quickly, puts the game to bed very quickly as well, doesn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. It's, it's massive and it's something we haven't really done the past couple of years is putting teams to bed and, you know, it, it helps us like manage the game better, so the defenders were happy with that one. I should imagine they were. Another clean sheet for them as well. But you should be happy as well, you know, getting the, the first goal, the opening goal at the start. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I've, I've, I've got more freedom in this in this shape, so it allows me to get forward more and get into the box, and that's what I'm doing, and that's that's, that's the aim, so buzzing to, buzzing to score. You haven't set yourself a target for this season? Yeah, definitely. I, th I've, I think you have to set yourself targets and goals, and... Uh, I'll keep it to myself, but I, I know what I'm aiming for and I, hopefully I can achieve it. And ahead of general at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe so, maybe so, yeah. But the more, the more, the more, the merrier. So hopefully they keep on coming. On, on a more serious note, yeah, so it, it's important for Harry is to, to get a good start under the belts. Two games, yeah. two wins. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think one game at a time, just always focus on the next game. That's the most important game, so yeah. All, all, all eyes on Tuesday night against Brackley at home, so hopefully we can bring bring numbers and attack it at full force. They'll be a different proposition, won't they? Yeah, they'll be remembering the, the playoff yeah. final where Harry has got the victory that, that took them into the National League. Yeah, definitely. They're a, they're a strong side, so we, we, we have to be prepared for that. They're, um, they've got a lot of talented players, but so do we, so we've just got to try and take the game to them. and. We'll see, how it, we'll see how it goes on Tuesday night. And of course, I've got the Harriers former club skipper Shane Byrne there as well. Yeah, Shane, good good mate of mine, so it'll be nice to see him, but no no friends on the pitch, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, that's great. Thanks very much, Zach. Thank you. You, um, you mentioned having more freedom in this team, and I'm just thinking in particular your season last season, where you played 40, 50 odd games. Yeah. Everyone knows, obviously, in that season, Zach Brown looked very hard, but it looked, I'm not going to speak for you, but it looked like it was at the expense of some of your creativity. So yeah. Just talk to me about how that might be evolving again. Yeah, no, definitely. I, th I think with, with my mentality, it's like I, I, I want to be the hardest working player on the pitch, so sometimes it's working too hard, like when you don't need to, and just using your, using your brain a little bit to work smartly and I think that's, that's, what I've, that's what I've brought to my game this year and hopefully I can show it. And I guess you can't underplay the importance of scoring the earlier season as well, kind of get you off the mark, isn't it? Oh no, definitely, yeah. I, I, like, again, my, my, goals, my goals in my brain is like, let's, let's score goals, man, I, I, and that's what I want to do.